Hey there, Libra. Welcome here on Guys to Road. This is going to be a June 2021 bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and cross watchers are always welcome. Let's see what we have going on for Libra. I like it. So what's going on for you guys here is bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Swords. So this could be you or this could be a Null Libra or a Gemini or Aquarius. And so that's the energy around you. I think there is a Knight of Swords coming in to talk to you. Want communication. Might be interested in you. And then what you do have coming is Ten of Cups, the Magician, and the High Priestess. So you are really manifesting. You are tapping into your psychic abilities. You are aware of a lot going on. You're able to just um, reach out and grab whatever you want. I mean, Ten of Cups. Wow. And then the magician and the high priestess. I don't know. You can't really get too much better that for that to have come in for you. You are manifesting with this magician. Ten of Cups is like your wish fulfillment. Everything you want. Especially in love. Um, look how happy these dolphins are. They are they are just excited. And they're leaping beyond. It's like they're so high up. They're above those cups. And then with the high priestess, that's very intuitive information. That's able to cross over to other realms. That's able to get the information you need whatever you need you can get and I think maybe even your sleep time that you're able to connect and find out the information you need and you just get it that's it you know if you have to figure out something you are just on fire with this energy it's just amazing and what's leaving you or changing there's gonna be some kind of change some kind of news and this sleep this five of source is um, whoever's being dishonest or doing something that's behind your back it's gonna be gone something's gonna come out and it's gonna be exposed and it might even be a knight of cups so you might it might be a person that is either cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be but you're cutting this out there's some kind of drastic change or information that's coming in something that happens that cuts this individual out that was not really for your highest good they were not on your side they were very deceptive so they're going to be gone. And this is what you need to know. There's money coming in for you. There's some kind of teamwork or some kind of um, something coming in that you're, you know, you're working on three of coins. You might be putting a lot of work into something and it's going to get acknowledged. Here we have the page of cups. So you might get a love offer or apology from someone. It could be from the king of swords here, or this could be you. You could be right smack in the middle of your reading here. This could be your energy or else it could be no Libra, a uh, Aquarius or Gemini but we also have on both sides of you pages so there's new beginnings new people around you um, also these people could be younger than you or they could be not as mature as you yeah I'm feeling like this is more your energy could be somebody else but you are going to get offers coming in you're going to get opportunities coming in there's new things starting and now with the page of wands it could be a new creative idea a new um project or a business or a job and I think this is going to let you actually have the rest you need. Because I think you do need to take a little break. Maybe a vacation with this um, Four of Swords. A little time out. I'm really loving this reading. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get a couple more cards on here. And see what we have going on for you guys. You know what? How am I doing this? I'm mixing up cards here. Take that one out. <laughs> it felt like it was shuffling funny. I got a couple other. Okay. I put the wrong cards in my deck. I am having. Whoops. Whoops. I'm having issues here. <laughs> I just hit my light. So I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's Mercury Rescue. I have these all mixed up. What did I do? I wonder if I have my other cards in this one too. 
I'm so sorry. I'm all discombobulated here. Jeesh. Get all these right ones out. That is nuts. Okay. And the reason going so good, I'm, I'm over here. Oh, let me just check this deck real quick to make sure I didn't put them, you know, in the wrong decks when I picked them up the last reading. Oh, it's just those one, just those cards, I guess. That is nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to start this one over because this is too good. So let's see. All right. Let's get some more cards on here. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Ah, Four of Wands and the Hangman. Pisces energy here, which is also seeing things in new perspective. It goes with the Magician and the High Priestess. But you you have Ace of Pentacles. Wow, major money coming in for you guys. And the Four of Wands. That could be a happy home, a happy a marriage, a commitment, something. You're manifesting all this. You're doing a great job. Okay. Let's go on the other side. See what we have going on here. Okay. See, you're, this is what's leaving. Now, this is someone hanging on, being stingy, um, not sharing. Some kind of tall moment is coming in. That's going to be over. And the Knight of Wands. That's also this, if it's a playboy, playgirl energy, that's gone. And judgment. So there's going to be judgment coming in, and these burdens aren't going to be done. Whatever this was going on here for you guys. So we have, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're out too. You're getting, you're getting rid of these. You're, you're pulling the judgment card. These, I mean, judgment could be someone from the past too. You could be getting rid of these people from the past. Because you're out of here. That's it. I'm not dealing with your stuff. Wow. Three of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, which we had here. Well, isn't that interesting? Knight of Swords is on the King of Swords. So this is your energy. Could be, or it could be, you could, you could be, I, I think you might be the King. And you have a Knight of Swords coming in. So you have someone coming in that is going to be a really good match for you. Because it's another air sign. And you're going to be celebrating with this money coming in or this team, this teamwork. And the money coming in, the wheel of fortune, things are changing in your favor. Whatever this um, page brings into you, this information is going to be like a, a major changer here. Um, and then we have the Ten of Cups again. Wow. <laughs> and okay, now here we have, look at that. Isn't that interesting how we have a four and a four too? So whatever you're um, going within and meditating about, you're, you're going to have an offer here that you're not sure if you're going to take. And then we have the High Priestess again. Right? Because that's the High Priestess there. Yeah, we're going to have repeaters here. So the High Priestess, and you're still going to be very intuitive, hanging into that, able to connect on a spiritual level to, to bring in whatever you need to manifest. I'm really liking this. This is amazing. Alrighty. Let me throw a couple more cards. Put this deck that I had messed up my other deck. Now I'll pull these out. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what else do we have going on here for Libra? Because that went really quick. But I'm loving this. You're seeing things in a whole new perspective. There's things are changing. We have the wheel again. Wheel of Fortune twice again, too. Got a lot of repeaters. We have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. Look at that. Leo energy. And we have walking away from your burdens, walking away from whatever's been like just too much on you. And there's, you got the five of swords. You do have uh, people trying to persuade you not to do something, I feel. But you have the king of wands here. You have the strength to do whatever you need to do. A very strong Leo here because you have the sun and the king of wands here. Um, why did I say strength cards? King of wands, but I said strength instead. I'm sorry. I saw the lion and I just thought of um, the strength and you have um, a decision to be made and you got people trying to interfere with this so let's elaborate more and well I've got enough cards on the table here I think to go to go through this it's like 
the wheel of fortune being here there's luck is changing things are changing in your favor because look at the cards surrounding it both of these wheel of fortune are surrounded by really nice cards there is this knight of swords around you like i say aquarius libra or gemini I think they're interested in you. I think they might figure you're their Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups here, and they're seeing you as Ten of Cups. And there's going to be a, a offer here. There's going to be something coming towards you about passion. And I think it's this Knight of um, Swords, because you're cutting out this Knight of Cups, and you're cutting out this Knight of Wands. And um, we also have the King of Wands in here. So I think there might be two. You, you might have a Knight come in here, of an air sign and then you have the king the Aries Leo Sagittarius also showing up and that's why we probably have the two of swords gotta make a decision and it's like you're really confused you feel like you're in the dark but I also feel like with this card I'm always looking at as other people interfering don't listen to other people so this card too other people trying to tell you what to do other people giving their opinion what who they think you should be with you decide on your own who you should be with whether you want this person here the air sign doesn't have to be your air sign or this person here this person you're more um on the same wavelength this person though is going to bring in a lot of passion and it might not be an air sign or a um fire sign it might just be that they have those qualities they have this person is very intelligent very moves very quick but this but wands move quick too but there's a lot of passion here I don't know I mean I kind of like the way you're on the same wavelength but you might need to, to spice things up a little bit and you're and you're a king you're coming off as a king and this is a king so you're in the same frequency now here the knight it's not going to be as not I, I know you're not going to be exactly the same as as this will be more of a um, challenge for you I think um, more on the same level which I'm really liking this this is a really nice reading and the magician and the the high priestess is like wow you are manifesting like crazy and to have the tower come over on this side what's leaving there's something changing something that you're not aware of this might come out of the blue and would it be in here someone holding on to this too someone trying not to let you move on I think that's th that's this card here the four of Pentacles is someone does not want to let you go and it's probably both of these this um Knight of Wands and this Knight of Cups but they've been doing things that aren't right and with the judgment card here it could be someone from the past it, these one of them or both of them it doesn't have to be but you're making a judgment call here you're seeing things the way they really are whatever comes in here and shakes up everything is going to expose whatever was hidden or whatever this was that was going on here because something was not right here something i don't like this card um it's like it's in this the energy i'm feeling for it's like someone's being really sneaky and doing some and you know five is a card to change too so once this tower comes in this, this is definitely changing and um someone's it's gonna be probably tough for you to get away from i don't know both of these or one of these people because they're hanging on real tight but you know what it's gonna all work out because you have such a beautiful spread here i, I mean whatever it is here you have teamwork here and and look at this we have two threes together it's that amazing two threes here two fours here you know this is teamwork this is building something this is working on something trying to manifest something and, it, and you're very happy about it you got the wheel of fortune also and the wheel of fortune here so there's your luck is changing things are, just get ready because things are changing things are looking really good ten of cups again you know you're getting your wish fulfillment here and you're walking away from these burdens you know that's the only card that's um, a little well Oh, that's the only card. All these are very positive except for these two. And again, five changes, changes, changes. There's a lot of changes. I definitely feel changes for you. Walking away from this. And I think you're going to, you're getting a headache from these people in your ear all the time trying to tell you what they think you should do. When you really have to do what you feel is right for you because you have new opportunities coming in. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. So your money looks really good. You're going to be really happy. This is coming in soon. 
You know, I mean, I'm doing this for a June reading. It could be happening now. It's really hard to really pinpoint time. So um, it could be happening right now that you're feeling all this energy changing and everything going in your favor. I really like this. Well, Libra, I hope you liked your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. And I thank you guys who have subscribed and who have liked and who have shared my videos. It has helped me so much to get to stay on, on doing the YouTube. And I really appreciate it. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.